Raising art meets an antique. And it's not me. Right, we are back. I have this really old pocket watch. It works, it runs. Now, I want to do something with this. I was originally thinking of removing the actual watch part and doing something with the actual housing, like the bezels of it, and, and creating like a, a piece inside. But I'm thinking what I want to try is doing something with the dial. Now, this is not an overly expensive pocket watch. So I think I want to do something with this dial. Now, the trouble is, it's it's got some cracks. It's got some imperfections, which are going to be quite challenging. Now, the hands themselves, I have some distance. Apart from where the minute hand is very, very close to the dial. So I may have to bend that out. I have a little bit of space with the seconds hand, but I could... I could bring that up and hopefully make it work. But I have another issue, and that is that the dial is very close to the front of this window. Now I want it to be able to close and open, but you can just see it's very, very close to the dial. So I may have to possibly tape off the edges I don't know yet but let's get the actual mechanism out from the frame so yeah don't go digging out your, your late grandfather's pocket watches and, and do this because some of them can be extremely expensive if you don't know what you're doing you could ruin a very very valuable piece just to make my life a little bit easier I'm going to remove that chain and just pop it to one side so you can see that the, the actual mechanism is held in to this main frame here now there are two screws there's one screw there or is it just the one screw on this one normally there's two that lock it into the frame itself so very very carefully i'm going to just turn that screw there which should unlock it there we go so i can now carefully remove that and there we have it's just stopped ticking but i only partially wound the watch but once you move that balance wheel it it starts going again for a short time so the actual watch face itself you can see these two rods coming through the back here and these two screws hold the watch face onto the actual mechanism but to remove the watch face we need to take off the hands now i've been very careful to choose a watch that does not <laughs> it doesn't contain any radium a lot of the old antique pocket watches have radium um, dials and especially the hands which help them glow in the dark. Now radium is extremely dangerous. Uh, if you haven't heard about the radium girls, go and do some research. Basically, when these were being manufactured in huge amounts, the, the ladies that worked in the factories would use their tools and they would lick them and apply the radium to the to the hands or to the watch faces and what they didn't realize at the time is they were introducing that radium to their body um and yeah it was it was deadly it's it's really shocking shocking stuff to watch and read i'm not a professional at you know doing stuff with watches i have lots of tools i i did begin to research on how to restore old watches but I kind of gave up and I left some of my tools at home. Just going to place some tissue paper there just to try and 
reduce the amount of stress that I am putting on there but these are quite solidly on there normally you would use two to lever them off but again I've left those tools at home we're gonna put those in a pot so I do not want to lose those and I'm probably going to do something with the hands as well they've got a really nice purple um, tint to them hopefully I can clean those up and bring that out and I'm, I'm potentially going to make them glow again now the second hand I've just lifted away and you can see that I've created some more room so I can go a little bit deeper with whatever I am going to do with the dial let's just lift that off completely again I don't want to lose that so now we're safe with the front we can release the two screws that are holding these pins in place some of the enamel where it's damaged has come off and now this one just needs a little bit more to loosen it off so I'm now wondering do I just remove all of this completely which will give me some depth to work with now I am going to be losing there you go look that's how fragile it is I am going to be losing the numbers but I could dot I'm not going to go too crazy but I can't make it any worse than what it already is I know it has some character but again it's not an expensive watch should I peel it off or just try and make it level so I'm not guaranteed that all of it is going to be loose I could just bring that back level you can see there has been a repair done to it at some point very poor repair it's probably been done at home You can see that copper dial underneath. Right, let me have five to think about what we're going to do. So I've decided I'm going to keep a lot of the original work. I'm going to upgrade some of the areas such as this where it's just been damaged. I'm going to try and clean off some of this enamel. And then I'm going to add some kind of modern resin art twist to the middle so what I'm going to do is use my small rotary tool it's a really good bit of kit and I've just got this bit on here and I'm going to try and engrave some cracks leading to the middle that I can fill maybe with some glow powder or something I'm not sure yet So you can see there I've gone with some lightning bolt effects. I'm just going to clean up the whole piece now just with some rubbing alcohol ready for the next stage, which I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of just going with, going with the flow and making it up as I go along. But I'm definitely thinking crackle paste, the crackle paint and some electric blue glow. I'm using the sky blue, which we've seen me use many times. It is such a beautiful electric blue color. And then I'm just using the Let's Resin Clear Hard EV Resin. I want the, the glow to be extremely strong. And I'm gonna start by applying it all over this center dial taking it right to that lip but I don't want to go into the sub dial area at the moment until I know for sure <laughs> what I'm actually going to do and now I can just cure that where it is really really nice blue 
once that has cured what I'm going to do is apply it again in these big areas I'm just going to take it into these cracks so I've decided to keep the sub dial clear for now because it's it's pretty um, damage free. So I'm going to be using the crackle paint from Green Stuff World. Pop some in my small mixing cup here. And I have to go really thin with this because I'm fully aware now that I'm running out of depth to play around with. And I'm just going to use a nail brush, really fine tip. I'm just going to coat the whole inside of this area. So it's just a matter of time now. I just hope that this crackle paint cracks in the way that I want it to. I want really small cracks over these areas and a little bit bigger cracks maybe in here now I you can cheat with this stuff you can warm it and and increase the speed but it's better just to let the crackle paint dry on its own so the hyperlapse that you just saw it hasn't finished drying yet but that was over the space of six minutes and whilst that's still drying i'm just going to soak these hands in a little bit of alcohol just to clean them up and give them a brush off also you can see just how much is coming off one thing i didn't think about is that you were probably thinking it <laughs> we don't want that the crackling paint to fall off so I am going to have to really, really gently glaze coat this with UV resin, the whole lot. But I'm going to skip that part. I'm just applying a really, really thin layer over all of it to hold it all in place. So for the watch hands, I'm going to try this. I have done watch loom before, but not with UV resin and glow powders. I'm going to try and stick with the blue. So I've, I've got the watch hands upside down. I don't know if this is going to work. I might be causing myself some more work by doing this, but we're going to find out. I'm just applying it into the gaps. Like so. I'm going to quickly cure that in place so it doesn't drip through. And then I'm going to do the minute hand also. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Very much appreciated. I'm going to do this section by section on this one. Now, I don't know if you can see on that hour hand, there has been some damage. I don't think I did that. <laughs> well I hope not anyway I can't see the missing piece anywhere but there's a little bit missing here but I'm going to keep it as it is because that is the character of the hands now the second hand wouldn't have had loom on it but I'm going to try it it's very very small I'm going to try and coat that I just had to reposition it I think maybe I'll just do this long arm here. I don't think it's going to hold much of a glow. And just the point is separating. So I need to spread it and blast it with my torch at the same time. There we go, that's held now. It was separating on the surface. So all that is left now <laughs> is to put everything back 
together, which I'm probably going to skip the majority of. It's just the reverse of what I have already done. Making sure that I don't damage these cogs as I put them back. So all I need to do now is hope that I can get the hands back on and that they're not going to interfere with what we've done. Because that would be a big shame. I may have to manipulate the, the bigger hands and bend them out a bit. So to test the hands aren't interfering, I'm just inserting the key into the back. I'm just going to rotate these hands and just make sure. I did bend the minute hands like I mentioned. It doesn't seem to be interfering with anything that we've done, which is good. Now I just need to make sure that the watch does run. So let's give it a wind. Hopefully it will begin ticking as it should. You can hear it. Thank goodness for that. All that work. <laughs> All that work and it's, it's definitely running. Right, I'm going to set the time. There it is. So shall we see it glow in the dark? You can you can say it. Whatever you do, don't let me near your watches. A little bit ugly in the daylight, isn't it? <laughs> We've transformed something old and forgotten. But wait for it. That was just sitting in one of my drawers. And we've transformed it into a modern, modern day resin art piece. Every face has beauty. Antique with a twist. But sometimes only in the dark. As always, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't subbed, please hit that button for me. Those, those hands come out really, really well. Right, I just hope it pops the way I want it to. That is absolutely insane. Look at that pattern that's going on in there with the crackle paste. I can only put that down to something being on the dial, but it's actually absolutely insane. This is probably one of the best projects I've ever done. Maybe the watch hands could have been a different colour, maybe a purple. I can always just pop open the front and, and just top those with a different colour but look at that the second hand is is glowing as well which is absolutely incredible I don't know how long it's going to hold that charge because it is such a small amount look at that that is absolutely crazy right I hope you enjoyed that one I will see you for the next one bye for now I love it <laughs>